Yes, everybody, what's on the West Ham Network? Good morning, oh, good lunchtime, good afternoon, West Ham fans. Hope you are all safe and well. Happy Monday. Happy Monday indeed. It's always a happier Monday when West Ham win a game at the weekend, isn't it? Although maybe a bit fortuitous. We'll get into that maybe. Um, but as always, we do, well, we haven't done it for a while really because have been a bit busy. But when the day after the, or the weekend after the day before, we um, do our player ratings. Opinions, views, take your comments. Now the dust has settled, you watched Match of the Day, you watched the highlights, you can reflect, come back and give me your thoughts because we've got a huge week, well, a huge 10 days coming up. Um, we've obviously Labour Cusum on Thursday in Germany, plus then we've got Fulham at home, then Labour Cusum at our gaff next Thursday. They could be Bundesliga champions by the time they play us on Thursday. We go through that in Hammers headlines. We give a bit of a match report, a scouting mission from their game against Union Berlin at the weekend as well, um, as well as all the loans of our players out on loan and you know, a little bit of an in, of update in terms of Bowen and, and Areola in terms of their availability for the Leverkusen game. Similarly, players are Leverkusen as well. They've had a little bit of an injury scare coming out of the Union Berlin game as well. So it's uh, it's all to play for. It's all to play for. That's for sure. If you are at loose ends this evening, uh, we actually will have the Academy show later on. We'll have Hammers headlines in a few hours time. Academy show this evening. Um, but we had uh, David Shah, uh, Jay's dad on from the Inbetweeners um, on doing my Hammers 11 uh, over the weekend. So it was on Sunday we put it up, so go back and check that out. Uh, we delve not just into the world of West Ham, but the world of acting as well, which is quite interesting. Uh, and he's got a hell of a lot of stuff coming up. Right, let's see if we've got the chats. Who have we got the chats? Michael, good afternoon to you. Give what give Ben John what, what Ben Johnson what he wants. Save money in the long run. Afternoon hammers. I've given you my thoughts about that. I think it's it makes good business sense to keep Ben Johnson, you know, in terms of what he provides as a squad player. For the player himself, I think actually he needs to move on from a player's perspective because he needs to find that one position and keep that position and and be a, be a, one of the starters for a side. But in terms of us and him and his impact as a squad player, it's... He, he needs to be with us because, as I said, he's probably second choice right back, second or third choice left back. He can play centre half. He can play centre half of a back in a back two, in a back three. He can play defensive midfield. He's played left wing. He's played right wing. He could probably do a decent job in goal as well. Uh, Russell, any truth in the play result vault at half time? Hence, super. I don't think they got poor. I just think they weren't playing very well, in all honesty. I thought Sufa had a very poor game. Um, I'm sure if there's anything about that, that will come out in the wash, but not that I've heard of. Uh, surely paying him what he wants, he ain't much better than any other homegrown player who can play in all positions. I totally agree. I forgot about the homegrown thing as well and the academy quote as well. Matt, good afternoon to you. Rich, nice to see you. Hope you're well, mate. Nice to see you. Um, good afternoon, Anthony. Toby's in the chat. Uh, afternoon from Malden. Afternoon from Pornchurch. Got a feel uh, for Wolves a wee bit. The goal shouldn't be allowed, but the refs are. We should uh, let the law, Mister Sampson. That goal was rightly disallowed, as the as the attacking a player was in front of uh, Fabianski in an offside position, and so it was. He was interfering his his sight of vision. So, but actually, to be fair, I think all the VAR, VAR decisions of that game were bang on, and it worked. That's when it works. But, it, but the thing is, it was such a rare occurrence of it working that, you know, the rest of it was like, oh, it actually works for us. Are we going to go to Germany and feel a and win? I feel positive Thursday. I think we'll come over draw, which will be a cracking result. Because don't forget, it's only half time in it. Um, I really fancy us here with them next Thursday. I think 
with you know the fireworks and the and the pyrotechnics and Tony and, I, and I'm wh- cranking everything up to eleven. I think it's gonna be good. Uh, Blue boys, hey, wait, nice to see you. Um, very cable team this West End side, well done all. I think you'll be buying. Thank you very much. Hope you're well, mate. I haven't seen you for a while. Um, afternoon, Ralph. Hope you're well. Keep Ben. Get rid of Moyes. Uh, don't think Ben Johnson was prim. Really happy to be wrong, it seems. Darth's didn't let him go unless... Well, it, it's Darth unless he's been put to ransom, you know, and it's like the club have said, you know, this is what it is and this is our wage bill, this is what we can pay. And, and then if he comes back and wants a lot more, then, you know. But um, we, we shall see how big is Thursday. It is big. It is big. As I said, if we come away with a draw or a narrow defeat... If it come for a win, it'd be amazing, but I just can't see us doing that. I think it's all geared up. It's like... It's a bit like anyone who watches the wrestling. It's a bit like it's all geared up to finishing the story. And this is all geared up to next Thursday and Moyes defeating the Bundesliga champions undefeated this season. Just written, It's just written in the stars, isn't it? Best laid plans and all that. So many mistakes by rest and VR all over the place. VR works, but the people using it don't. I totally agree. Nobody played well first half on Saturday. Lucky was only 1 0. You're totally right. Um, law 11.2, indeed. Thank you very much. Uh, that's what I was trying to articulate. By the letter of law, it should be. It should be sorry. Did, yeah, but, yeah, but no, I think the law is right. Um, uh, morning, Mandy. Afternoon, mate. Uh, chances of Bone being fit, missing him, and Alvarez will be tough. And, and Ariola as well. I think we'll probably. I think the likelihood is Ariola will be out, uh, but he would have been out anyway. Cause it's a European game, so Fabianski would have been in. You'd imagine. Bowen, we we sort of give him slightly slightly mixed. Um, Boyd said in his press conference that he was. It was a you know he took a bang to the back from the knee. Um, it was sore. We've all you know, he's been through a few of them himself. Um, Roshane Thomas at the Athletics, the similar thing. Um, and then we've been led to believe that we're waiting on results. We, I mean, it's still sore. It might be a late call Wednesday, Thursday, in terms of whether he's fit. Um, for me, yes, he's you know he's critical for our attacking prowess. But if we're if we're going to do proper Moyes ball one point then you know Moyes will just oh just put another defensive defensive midfield player on. But we'll see what happens. Um, I. I if he's fit or if he's any chance in playing, um, then, then he plays for sure. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. Three minutes and 12 and the Moyes disciples are out again. Ralph, you've got a few more weeks, then we'll see what happens, isn't it? That's what I mean. I just like for these next few weeks, I wish everyone, both sides, would lay down their swords for the benefit of West Ham because we've got a massive, what have we got? Five games left in the Premier League, six games left in the Premier League. Plus two massive games. Plus also the other 21s. Don't forget the other 21s are in Europe. They're in semi-final European, um, you know, in terms of the International Cup on Tuesday. Let's just get it going. We're going to finish our story. Uh, yeah, exactly. Um, as said, Wolves' goal should have stood. Ah, he's an idiot. Um, I think it's written in the bubbles. Very good. It beat Sevilla over two gigs. Was out for both. He was indeed good shout. It was a great shout. Come on, Russie B. It wouldn't have mattered that was in front or the goal was going in. Mate, but the letter of the law should have, you know, it didn't stand. I don't want the law. Can't see my very fit. Uh, we had a bench again. Yeah, it's a good point. Uh, Yama came on and won it. What a great, what a great day that was. Uh, get the season over with and what will be regardless, indeed. On Tuesday, two on win. The next day, three. Whoa, you reckon we're gonna do them twice? Wow. Uh, can always run with to do his bit to do <laughs> No, he's not at all. No, not at all. Rouse got comes, he's always been boys out, and some people are more with him. Um, but what I'm saying is, of course, we're all West Ham fans. And we've got a hell of a week coming up. Um, so, you know, what formation would you set up there, Russ? We'll talk about that probably Thursday. Um, yeah, probably Thursday, I'd imagine. Um, I think it's dependent about what who's fit, to be honest. We know Alvarez isn't going to be playing. Um I don't think it's going to be a change in formation, man. Did everything do anything too radical? Although, to be fair, I thought yes on San, on Saturday we went to a back three. I thought we looked a lot better. But would we play against Labour I don't know. Take the three points. Lovely job. Hope everyone's well. Hope well, Lucas. Good to see you, man. 
love your optimism, Stuart. Uh, are the under twenty ones on TV? Uh, I don't know actually. I don't know to be honest. They play PSV Eindhoven in the semi final of the Premier League International Cup. PSV Eindhoven are the current holders, I believe. Um, and he's at the Chigwell Construction Ground. Um, I know if it was at Rush Green, they'd probably put it live. I don't know what the setup is at Rush Green, uh, at um, not Rush Green, um, at Dagenham Redbridge. So I don't know. I might have to go back and check. If you go back and check, you can probably see it. So uh, in, in terms of the last last one was against Brighton. So it could be. Uh, is it Tuesday, Russ? Yes, it is indeed. And we're doing the Academy show later on. We'll be talking about that. And also the under-21s, under-18s and their games over the weekend, as well as the lone players. And also Freddie Potts as well, who was in the uh, uh, EFL Trophy um, playing for Wickham against Peterborough yesterday. A, a heartbreaking defeat for Freddie. About to have a bit of luck. Totally grief is out. Would you consider Cress at left back? Oh, not Cress. Not Cress in what's name, mate? Not Cress in Germany. Not again. Um, possibly. Possibly. Um, I suppose it depends about how it all, how everything sort of plays out. I mean, Bowie not being hit, being around would mean that we would have obviously. The right side, Caduce would go. He's more favoured on the right. Antonio. I mean, Emerson was was more as a, as a wing back. So I, I, I don't know. I, I I do not know, to be honest. Um, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. And we're, we're going to criticise it, whatever, isn't it? People are going to criticise it for if it gets changed or not. So um, Moyes will go 5-2-3. I don't think they'll go three up front. That's far too adventurous. Uh, can yet yeah, they can yet yeah, they can get him free on Tuesday. Otherwise, you haven't got season ticket hold. It's uh, three quid for an adult and a pound for under sixteens. Uh, after Mark, hope you're well. Great winner in the he definitely meant it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. His mental that was that game. Uh, if Emerson plays left wing, he can back up Cress. Yeah, yeah, he could. Um, so let's let's get into let's get into the ratings. Um, so obviously we give our ratings. Um, I give you my sort of synopsis of the of, of how I thought the player played. Uh, you can your scores in the chat. No half points, no decimal points. Got to be whole numbers, otherwise I don't count them. Uh, and we'll see how far we are apart. Um, let's uh, let's start with Lucas Fabianski. Um, obviously deputised again for in a league for Ariola. He's obviously got a knock. Um, not a bad game for him. Not a bad game, I reckon. Um was I think the whole side I think Ludders said it a game of two halves and, and it really was a game of two halves to be honest and Michael says it as well um, so it's combined combined for me um, he played alright you know he was unlucky with the penalty as well um, but you know almost got caught with in the first half wasn't it when the ball comes along and he, he t- takes a touch and then has to end up sort of doing some weird move to Gets past Cerebia to get rid of the ball. Um, good save early off of, I think, Doyle. But yeah, it's an okay game. It's, I'm, actually, I'm going to change the background. That's fancier. Um, let's see what we have got. Says in the, uh, not being streamed. Oh, oh that's not good. Uh, so I think it might be because of the fact it is at Dagenham Redbridge. I don't think they're set up to do that. Uh, no, six, eight. Six is that minus six or just six? Six six. Uh, Ariel needs to start Thursday. I don't think he will. I think he's still be injured. Feel sorry for Wolves, but no one feels sorry for us. Indeed, seven six slow distribution six. The Forest player should have got six months for that injury time or so. Indeed, um, lots of sixes. I also gave him a six. Simples. Let's move on like Donkey Kong, and let's talk about Vlad. Obviously, pulled off at half time. Whether it was because of a player revolt or not, I don't know. Um, I I think he just looked a, a yard off pace completely. He just didn't look at the races. Neither, none of the side looked at the races in the first half, but he looked particularly poor. Uh, he got beaten at the far post by Doherty a couple of times. Um, and you know, I think rightfully... Replaced the half time. No disrespect to the man. Big fan of him. Big, oh, big fan of him. 
um, but was rightfully taken off half time. I thought um, three, two, three, three. I love you, bloody four, five, four, three, five. Vlad has got the moment of his wage dispute, possibly, possibly, um, and that's what I've been saying about him. I give him the one year deal. Don't be dragged into giving another year because that's why we've got one of the oldest squads in the Premier League because we've done that with Cresswell. Cresswell should have been gone two years ago. You know, Ogbonna should have been gone with two, uh, I'd, I'd suggest two years ago. Um, we obviously gave him that extra year extension because he was injured, which was us being nice, but it's not about being nice now with football, unfortunately. It's about literally being ruthless and we weren't ruthless with them. Um, and I think it's the same as Sufal. Two years down the line, he's going to be 32, 30, he's going to be knocking on 33. And he's already creaking now at 30, 31. So what's it going to be like in two years' time? I'd rather that money that we're going to give to, that we're going to potentially give to Vlad, give that to Ben Johnson. And then we've got a better squad, you know, in terms of rotation. Um, not great scores of Vlad. I gave him a five. I think it's very generous. I'll give him a four. Move it. I'm easily swayed by you lot. Um, let's talk about. Kurt Zuma, captain, again, another 90 minutes um, following, obviously, the fantastic display against, uh, you know, of human son against Spurs. He, he was brilliant. Um, I think it was best best of our midfield, best of our defenders, to be honest. Made a crucial block on Aiden Nori when it was nil-nil. And... Uh, yeah, from being sort of walking around like he's injured all the time, he's just seems to have this youthful exuberance. I don't know where it's come from, but long may it continue. Uh, we got seven, seven from Lucas, six, seven, 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 six, six, the cat man. He's the cat man. Beep, up, boop, up, up. Sixes and sevens, it looks like. Russie B, give it a six. Not even going to be talking about that score. Um, Proves he can play when needed, indeed. Just needs to do it more often, doesn't he, lads? That's the trouble with him. Um, let's move on. Let's talk about his defensive partner, Kostantinios Mavlopanos. Um I thought he looked at I thought he it was a good game, okay game for from Dinos. Not not he's been playing really well recently, and I think the last maybe Saturday was don't know just a little bit a little bit like wary sometimes um but you know still still a good game um i mean didn't really have much they really have much change of us really in terms of the, sort of those sense about partnerships but then again they didn't really have a striker until kuna came on you know we're playing in essence and i've likened it to playing you know pablo fornaus up front that's what that's what they were doing it was a similar site similar size to pablo um but it wasn't a but then again, from a defensive perspective, if he if he don't re- if he don't realise he's playing, he's either you know he's he's doing his job. Where you recognise what he's playing when he's either effed up or he's done something fantastic. So an average game from Dinos because I don't really recall much happening with him to be honest. Uh, six seven six six players form dip. Look at Antonio. Yep, you're, you're totally right. And and I mean, look at him now. Uh, six, five, six, six, seven, six, seven for the Greek Colossus Green. I hope you're well. Uh, there they had, and they had LB up front. They had LB up front, left back up front. Yes, El Nori sort of well, not up front. He's sort of the the attacking two behind the front man, didn't they? Dino seven from Mandy. I gave him a six. A lot of sixes today for me, to be honest. Looking at it, let's talk about Emerson. Uh, quite an eventful game for, for Mr. Palmieri, to be honest. Obviously gave away the penalty, which I thought was was rightfully given. Um, and he was sloppy with the, with the tackle. Um, and then obviously he got the goal disallowed. Again, I thought that was fine. That was a, that was a foul on Samada. Um, and then won the penalty. So you know, all in is he had quite he had quite a busy day, did old Emerson. There, for me, he. He isn't the player he was maybe beginning of this year, this calendar year. And I think part of the reason is because he's not, because Paqueta's more drifting more into a 10 role. And obviously we don't have Ben Rama there. And he's him going forward, particularly from left back. So obviously 
helped with having someone like Paquette in front of him. Now, what was different, particularly the sec- midway for the second half, was he was pushed into a left wing back, and that's his position. He looks so much more effective as a left wing back, but we don't play left wing back usually, so there we go. Um, can't believe he gave six, and Sufa was crap. Sufa was crap. It was it was a reason why he was pulled off at half time. He was crap. Uh, Emerson six. Uh, does anyone else think Emerson has been sort of out? Yeah, it's exactly what I've said. Exactly what I've said. Um, seven seven six seven seven five seven minus one plus one seven. Brilliant. Uh, six six seven. Never gave up and dragged us back into the game. Fifty fifty on the penalty. He gave up. We won the penalty. Improved and pushed up forty. So he did. Uh, C- CBS had the second half. Uh, yeah, I know, I, I, but I it should have been a four. That's why, and I, and I actually said, Darren, it's, it should be a four. Um, CBS had, had the second half of redemption, indeed. Um, I went four in terms of Mr. Emerson, a six. I think it's about average. Is it first half very poor? But everyone says that's very poor, to be honest. Um, but second half made amends and was much better. Um, let's talk about Alvarez. Um, obviously back in the side from his two-match suspension, and I thought he looked a bit rusty. I thought he looked like he hadn't played in a couple of weeks. Um, second half improved a lot better, but he looked, particularly first half, a bit rushed. Everything was overhit a little bit, um, and he just looked a bit rusty, but obviously second half a lot stronger. Um, obviously, he won't be playing for the first leg against Leverkusen on Thursday. But we probably playing against Fulham on Sunday, and then obviously in the return leg at London Stadium at the following Thursday. But good to have him back in the side. I feel more confident when he's in the side, but he's not. You know, honestly, um, five, six, five. Get his thumbs up. Listen to listen to ladders. Hashtag listen to ladders. Get your thumbs up. Five, six, six, five wasn't terrible. Just below the standard a bit. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, six, six, perfectly summed up. Just a bit off. La Machine looks lost first half. Six, 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 rusty. Six, agree with Lucas' comment just below what he does. Play of the season, Alvarez. Mm. Yeah, I mean, there's what's the what's great about this year when you look at the hammer of the year is it's not a foregone conclusion. Which is you, which is a good thing. It's not a foregone conclusion because there are several players who can play, who could be hammer of the year, rather than no one. Everyone's been been shit. There is Alvarez. There's Emerson, Bowen, Paqueta, Caduce, uh, Ariola. You know, uh, I mean, there's five or six who could be hammer of the year. I, uh, for me, it's it, yeah. I reckon it's probably. I mean, I obviously. Bowen scores the goals, but I think Emerson. I mean, you know, but yeah, but it will be. You're probably right. It will be Bowen at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he, he will get De Canio right. He wins. Yeah, he's only scored one, one more goal to equal two goals in the Premier League to win and and, and take over. Anyway, so it looks like it's about sixes, sixes roughly for Alvarez. I actually went for six as well. Phillips have the year. Uh, could you Adam and Eve it's um, let's talk about James or Prowse um, I think first half he didn't really get much of the ball but no one did um, but then you saw second half I thought I thought what I liked about what I liked about Will Prowse and if you go back and watch the game again the amount of running he does you know he's always trying to make himself available for the ball he's always putting the yards in he runs a lot he runs a lot and obviously scored, you know, from the, a free kick. And that's the free kick he does all the time. Whips it in really close to the goalkeeper, usually to on the goalkeeper's head, but a little bit further, far post, went in. Fantastic. Um, yes, it might have been a little bit an assist from the wind, but look, he's he seems the last couple of weeks, the last couple of games, to really been putting performances in again, which he hasn't been. Um, and he's been dropped, and maybe he's taken that on the chin. Um, and so yeah, I thought he's been, you know, he's he's definitely the last couple of games played a lot better when he's been called upon. 
six seven eight seven 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 six eight uh he's got his iron again seven do you think jp is a player professional appreciate all the fans probably probably um seven a boy my god that boy can run seven uh goes through the hard yards seven isn't a cdm he's not and it's not his fault he's been put in that position and that's the issue when he does when they put him in that position because that makes no sense whatsoever he's a 10 or an eight you know he's not a cdm he can run the he can run the yards but he's just not physically a cdm you know look at alvarez look how physically imposing he can be compared to jwp you know i'm just i'm looking at his picture now there's like Sujek, him and alvarez and jwp looks like a little boy really compared to the others um i gave him a seven and i actually gave my man a match because look at the rest of the side i don't think i think he he deserved it really because again a, a a strong performance throughout uh talk about tommy Suchek. Um, obviously missed the one chance the first half um, when he got his, you know, the balls that come to his feet. Uh, again, not not really imposing on a midfield that he should have, um, particularly with Wolves' you know, injury crisis and was rightfully dragged off at half-time. Wasn't, wasn't a great game. And, you know, fair play. You know, I give, I give Moyesy credit with that. He took him off, and usually he'd keep him, keep him on, and and wait and wait and wait and hope that he's going to get a you know a, a corner or a ball's going to come through. He's going to use his head in it, but no, he just he went no nope, off, and it worked. Uh, whether that was his decision or whether it was for this player revolt, apparently, we'll wait and see. I'm sure some news will come out if if it was, but I I very much doubt it. But we never know. Uh, McElhaney was only little, yeah, but it's his size. He was a very stocky. He was still very stocky, wasn't he, McElhaney? Very strong. Um, four, five. Uh, tatty was very tatty. Seven, five, six. Five, five, six, five. A little bit better than Vlad. Four, six. Can't get more than that if you get dragged off at half time, indeed. I actually gave him a four. Wasn't good at all. Wasn't a good game for him to, at all. Well, or half, really. Uh, let's talk about uh, Lucas Paquetta's no one better than a Brazilian man. If he cool. um, a game of two offs for him. Uh, first half was dreadful, absolutely dreadful. Um, everything was bouncing off him, and then he was trying to play for the fouls. I mean, play for the fouls for the second half as well. Um, but very strange. And he, and you know, was he scored the penalty? Good penalty. Been quiet until then. Um, he also he also put it on a plate for Caduceus in the second half, um, which Caduceus fluffed his lines with a little bit. But again, one of those games which sometimes it doesn't. For the whole team, he just didn't click. You know, the passes were overhit, the touches were heavy, and for Lucas, it really was that one of those games. Really was one of those games. Um, let's see what people have been saying about that. Let's scroll up. Uh, Shrewd for Moyes to take him off. Keeps him fresher for Leverkusen. and we still manage to get three points. I very much beg to differ that was the case. But uh, six, five, poor, four, five, five, seven for Paqueta. The player revolts just sounds like a way of spinning substitutions to make it Moyes' fault while I'm acknowledging the old actually acted once, quite possibly. Spends more time on the floor than not. Average. Looked well off it. Disinterested. Didn't want to be there first half. Diving, grinds on me. Five. Six is for the penalty. Could have had an assist as well for Kadusha. Totally right. Six. Six. Gets a six. He's diving. He's getting one. Nerves me two. Uh, Paquetta five. Great play, but loses a... But such an effing wimp. Every time he loses the ball, he launches himself on the floor. Mm, indeed. Uh, I gave Lucas a six. It was a fair fair score. Let's talk about Mohamed Kadus, the, the person he put on a plate to... Um, to get a third goal, but unfortunately, didn't quite work out that way. He, what I like about him, he doesn't shy away from the ball. So, like, particularly the first half when it wasn't really working for anyone, he took the initiative, he took the responsibility, you know, and trying to maybe overplay it to get things moving. Um, obviously, he benefited from Jared getting injured. 
because he may could switch back onto the right side, which is better side. Um, and uh, was more of a threat on that side than it was on the left side. There was obviously the chance in the second half. Paqueta, you know, it's, it's almost, well, it was two on one. Paqueta's a beautiful curly pass into Caduce's feet, takes a great first touch. Second touch just completely eludes him. And, uh, you know, if, if there was someone you wanted that ball to fall to in our team, it would have been Lucas. It would have been uh, Caduce. But it didn't quite work out that time, way, did it, that time? Let's have a look what we got. Uh, seven, not his best game, six. Uh, six, not his best, but second half one on the right. Five, 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 six. Uh, still got the best to come, let's hope so. Seven, according to Matt. Uh, Mo had some moments, but capitalised on six. Six wasn't his best, but always looked dangerous. Six, six, has to bury that chance indeed. Uh, everyone else is talking about other stuff. Let's have a look. I gave him a six. I thought that was a fair result, fair score for him. Uh, let's talk about Bowen. Um, obviously, you know, they started him up front and it just doesn't work. And I've been saying this for all the time. When, when It only works in playing up front if we're playing to his strengths. So playing with the ball at his feet or behind, which he can run onto. When he's sitting there and he's got... You know, big where Kilman and Adam in his pocket first half. He's back to goal. He's useless. That's not his style. His style is running at defenders. And then second half, being on Antonio, he goes to the right, almost makes an instant impact straight away. And that's how he needs to be utilized. He needs to be utilized like that. That's for sure. Um, let's see some scores. Um, Assuming Bowman's not, how would you line up? I'm going to have to think about that, Greeno, and I'll come back to you this week anyway once we find out what's going on. Six, 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 six. Shame we got injured. Gets a four. He actually looked better when he came up. I agree. Six, five. Injury looks at impact, so should be okay. Touch and go. When might be Thursday, not until Thursday when we know if he can play or not. Um, works hard, but the front line was misfiring. Uh... Hope he's not injured for Thursday. Six. TB up here, mate. Um, Bowen, not forward. Gets eaten alive by the big centre-backs. Six. Totally agree. I actually gave him a five because it, it was use, in that position. He's useless. He's, he, he's you know, he, it's not his position. It's not his fault he's been in that position, but it's not his position. He looked a completely different player in that beginning of the second half when Antonio was on. It's completely different. It was harsh, but Look, I just thought it was, wasn't between the five and six, not much difference, to be honest, Darren. But it was, I just thought, um, we're going to talk about some of the subs this time because I think they made a massive impact. Um, Antonio obviously came at half time. It was his 300th West Ham appearance. Um, and as soon as he was on, we had an impact, we had a focal point, and it's a shame that again, it's we're you know we're reliant on a thirty-four-year-old. That's the trouble. Um, and he did change the outlook. Whether it was you know, and it's not just him, his his overall play, but the effect it has on the team. So straight away, you've got a situation where he's now got Paqueta now playing as a ten. You've got so you've got more stuff going on in that middle of the park, which we didn't have running on the first half. Um, and he can dictate play better. Um, what have we got here? Uh, seven, six, bone is better. Uh, wide, totally agree. Eight, change the game. Six, seven, seven, seven. I hope so. a new deal for next season. <sighs> yeah, yes and no. In the middle, for me, I want him to sign a new deal, but, I don't want him to be our number one striker. I'd love him to be our backup or impact striker, and that's how he should be used. And I would love, love, love us to get a proper player who can fit in that slot, whether it is a Santiago Jimenez or someone like that. Just someone 
who's that focal point? And Antonio comes on when the players are knackered. Seven, uh, not many quite like him indeed. Uh, and eight, will we ever see Corne? Who knows? Uh, seven, you see Corne in the summer have an ice cream van. Boy, that's one Corne door. I give him a seven. Let's quickly go and talk about Ben Johnson. I mean, Anton's spoken about him on the show he did yesterday. I'm the same. I thought he had a real impact, and 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 probably not so much until he until uh, Boeing was injured and Boeing went off, really, because at right back he's sort of like nee, he's okay, but I thought when he was playing right wing back, it looked a lot better, and obviously did a much better job than Sufau. Uh, he got in the box and, and great volley, which he could easily have scored. Um, maybe if you've been pernickety, he gave away a needless corner, which led to Wolves' disallowed equaliser, if you've been pernickety. But I thought he had a really, really good half. Really good half. Um, what have we got here? Uh, but like Johnson, you can dip shows the front row. Yep, a good point. Don't forget right back indeed. Uh, for all those leaving will be a job filling the void indeed. Eight, seven, eight, seven. Most improved player of the season, quite possibly. Uh, we should be looking far and wide for a carbon copy to groom into Antonio's place. There was one who's at Ber- Union Berlin who then went to Nottingham Forest. Teowani. He he is Mikhail Antonio Mark 2.0. Um, a, a guy we've been linked to apparently in the summer. Him and Morgan uh, Morg, uh, Morg gives work. Seven, 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 seven. Worked hard, seven. Surprised me when he got forward. I uh, hope he's another contract. Like, well, I think he should, yeah. I mean, I, I gave him a seven as well. I thought Jono was, was really good, really good. Um, who's next? Let's talk about Aaron. Um, now, 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 this was strange, wasn't it? Because you thought, we've got Danny Ings on the bench. We've got Corne on the bench. Um You've even got a Gerd on the bench, but he put Cresswell, which was a bit damning of a Gerd, you know, where he put he has more hope of playing a Gerd, uh, Darren Cresswell left centre back rather than a Gerd. Because I think a Gerd would do a fantastic job there. A Gerd, Zuma, and Mavapan are our three centre offs. Um, and give it more height as well and a bit more maybe passing ability, but he chose Cresswell. And we back, went to a back three, pushed Emerson up, looks more comfortable. Ben Johnson looked better as well. Almost went two up front, really, with Caduce and Antonio. Um, and it's and it worked. And it worked. You know, I thought he played well. Um, and it was where we were all crapping ourselves about Aaron Cressel being there. He actually did all right. And he when he came the other day as well, he did all right there as well. Um Six, haven't we offered that he has? Yeah, he's turned them down basically. Uh, six, seven, seven, six was important to change the shape and the vision for the match. Seven, bringing on Adam Emerson to play the left wing. Well, left wing back, really. Yeah, uh, six, six. Cresswell obviously trusts him indeed, knows he's already. Maybe a gear doesn't, possibly, possibly, possibly. But I mean, you know, again, he's a Moroccan international. He played in the semi final of the World Cup. So ain't no mug, is he? Uh, we'll play Cresswell on Thursday with the pace Leverkusen have. And in, and in Germany, Crest doesn't have a good record against German teams, let's be honest. Did okay. I don't want to see him playing at Le- Labour. I don't think he will be, mate. Um, so, yeah, sixes and sevens. I, I gave him a six. I thought it was, a, it was a good game. Played well. Nice to see. A bit of a renaissance with Aaron. And uh, yeah, and then obviously we move on to Leverkusen on Thursday. It's going to be a tough game. Um, I do a bit of a scouting report on Hammers headlines about Leverkusen ahead of the game on Thursday in terms of their result on Saturday, on Saturday against Union Berlin. Uh, we talk about the loans. We talk about Bowen and, and Ariola in a bit more detail in terms of their injuries. And then we've got the Academy show later on where we talk about all the stuff around the Academy, talk about Freddie Potts, talk about the under-18s match, the under-21s match, a little bit of preview of the under-21s uh, International Cup semi-final on Tuesday. And also their players are going out on loan, like Dan Chesters and Kian Forson and Callum Marshall and stuff like that. So it is a, a good little show if you want to watch that. Um, do we know what the officials are? Probably. I haven't checked yet, to be honest, others. Um, 
And uh, yeah, that, that's it for tonight, today, guys. As I said, if you're new around here, thanks for joining us. We hit 24,000 subscribers yesterday. So we're on the road to 25. On the road to 25 now. 24,000 people subscribed. That's mental. Um, that's mental. Well, back to work, mate. Back to work. Um, <laughs> very good indeed. Um, keep it on the channel. Any any breaking news? If we anything new about Bowie or whatever, we'll try and bring it to you as quickly as possible. Don't forget to give it a like. Be nice. Thanks. Until then, take care. Stay safe. Stay warm. Stay humble. Keep the faith, my friends. And we'll see you guys very, very soon. Come on, you bloody, bloody.